problem. This giant beast grabbed me, took me over here, and then told me to be quiet or else he's gonna eat my face. Please, guys, send help. Now, oh, guys, I'm just kidding. That is actually my brand new pet called a Hippogriff, and that is because today we're going to be checking out the Ice and Fire Dragons Minecraft mod, but it has recently been updated, all right? There are brand new mythological creatures. We got Hippogriffs, we got Cyclopses, or Cyclops Eye. I don't know what the plural of Cyclops is. But yeah, we also have Medusa, and a bunch of other awesome Minecraft mobs. In today's epic Minecraft video, Bessie is super excited. Look at that. She's smiling. Sort of. Kind of. Maybe. But yeah, guys, anyway, before I show you how to get your very own Minecraft dragons and pet hippogriffs and all that cool stuff, let's go check out the comment of the day, which comes from Bronson Bell, who wanted me to check out the dragons mod again. So guys, if you want to be featured just like your boy Bronson, all you gotta do is leave a huge like on today's video. Just grab your dragon, right? I know it's a couple thousand pounds and just slap it on the like button. Also, while you're down there, you might as well subscribe and then tap that bell to turn on notifications. And then last but not least, all you gotta do is leave a comment of any mod that you want me to check out for a future video. Or if you just have an idea, like you want me to blow up some nukes. Uh, against something maybe dragons versus nukes i don't know whatever the heck you guys want to see i will definitely check out your comments and see if there's any cool ideas but anyway bestie let's go see what you have today so i checked this mod out a while ago but it was indeed recently updated with hippogriffs gorgons pixies cyclopses and a bunch of other cool things so we're definitely going to be checking that out but i think the first step for today is getting a pet dragon now there are a bunch of different types of pet dragons there's fire ice but they come in different color variations but for just today i'm going to be getting a red fire dragon and then an ice colored ice dragon I, I wanted to say blue i don't know why i didn't just say blue but yeah we're gonna be having two different dragons today now with the fire dragons you're gonna want to kind of give them a nice warm environment while on the other hand the ice dragons you're gonna want to surround it with like water and packed ice and just kind of cold stuff like that now in order to get these dragon eggs you're gonna need to go out into the wilderness and actually take down a dragon go into their nest and then steal an egg I know it's kind of scary now guys these could take a while to hatch so let's go check out the other cool things that Bessie has for me today get out of here you stupid fake Bessie bear let's go see so another kind of important part of this mod is the bestiary so once you actually get this it won't be as cool as mine as you can see mine has all of the knowledge that you'll ever need but yours will just have the introduction so you're gonna need to go around and collect manuscripts from a dragon nest so it's gonna be really scary once you actually start this mod you're gonna have to start taking down some dragons so you should probably get a bunch of diamond stuff in order to take them down but yeah your thing will just start off with an introduction it'll tell you that you need some manuscripts you can get some silver items you know you can get this thing called a lectern which is how you add in some more stuff so you basically just put in the bestiary put in some manuscripts and then it will start adding more pages into your book of awesomeness now as you can see my book has information on everything so it shows me different dragon materials snow villagers hippogriffs different types of dragons and all that cool stuff so you could either get that or you could watch this video because i'm pretty much going to explain everything in those books today so the other thing that we're probably going to need is some armor since that we're going to be going to take down cyclops and we're going to be taking down dragons and stuff like that so let's go see we have some silver stuff it's not the best in the world you might want to start out with this but in order to craft it you just need to go around your world and find silver but i kind of want to start off with something a tad bit better so let's see i kind of like this dragon scale armor oh my goodness look at that i look like a dragon rider this is so cool and it gives you full armor so it's basically mm. as good as diamond armor and yeah it should protect you from most things but yeah let's go see what weapon we want today so i kind of want to grab this silk touch pickaxe just in case we need it we also have a dragon bone bow which we actually craft from wither bones and dragon bones but yeah let's also grab ourselves some uh, dragon bone arrows and then let's see what sword do we want we have a uh, fire dragon armor on so i'm thinking i should probably grab the fire dragon sword as well and then we'll just keep the ice dragon in here for backup 
Hmm, so it seems like these things are taking a little bit longer than expected. So let's go check out what else Bessie has. I think there's only one more chest. So yeah, we can actually get iron, gold, and dragon armor. It's pretty much easy to craft. I mean, not really easy, but I mean, you kind of need full blocks of uh, different things here. So yeah, this is blocks of diamonds. You would need blocks of iron, blocks of gold, etc. to get the diamond dragon armor and all the dragon armors. Now, some other important things that you're gonna need. If you wanna take down the Cyclops and Medusa, you're gonna need the sheep disguise in order to take down the Cyclops. In order to get this, it is just wool surrounded by your favorite pieces of leather armor, and then a blindfold to take down Medusa, because if you guys did not know, if she looks at you, you turn into stone. So yeah, we're definitely gonna be taking these along to our journey when we go out and try and take them down let's also grab this dragon armor just in case the dragons hatch at some point while we're over here yes finally we have dragons all right so i just literally spawned in as many dragons as i could in this little water area and then finally i got some dragons all right so we have two dragons right here what the am i holding it yo it's on my shoulder this is awesome. So yeah, I guess this is part of the new update. I can have a dragon on my shoulder. Yo, what's that, dude? Okay, can you get down from there? How the, how the heck do I get you out? Yo, dude, get off my shoulder, bro. Well, guys, I have two dragons on my shoulders now, uh, but I don't know how to actually get them down. Yo, dudes, can you get off my shoulders, please? How the heck do I get them off? Maybe this is part of the process now? I really have no idea these days. Okay, uh, how do I... Can I, like, smack you down? Can you guys just, uh, please? I want to feed you some dragon meals so that you guys can get huge really dang fast. Okay, I just want to get you guys down. Please, guys, somebody send help. I thought if I got in the hot tub, it would help a little bit, but no, I think it may have actually made this thing worse because, uh, yeah, I think they like it better in here. These dragons really like it on my shoulder, guys. I want to make that very clear. They do not want to leave my shoulder. I actually have no idea how to get them off my shoulder. Okay, uh, maybe? Okay, there's the hippogriff. I was gonna say, maybe if I ride on him, but I'm kind of realizing now I don't know how to get back up there. So, maybe if I attack these cows. All right, let's go get this fake bestie. Bam! All right, dragons, get them. Get the fake bestie. Come on, bite him. Okay, guys, I don't know what to do. Uh, yo, guys, I need you to get off my shoulder, please. Well, guys, I got what I wished for. Uh, the dragons are gone, and now I don't know where to find them. Bessie doesn't know either. Hip, yo, stand. Do you know where my dragons are, bro? No, no one. <laughs> what the heck just happened? They were on my shoulder literally like five seconds ago, and then they just disappeared. And then now they're nowhere to be seen. Okay, guys, we've made some progress. I don't know where this dude, he literally just walked up here. He was like, yo, dude, I'm back. And then he literally was just right here. I have no idea what is going on. But we have a dragon at least. Okay, this is a sapphire ice blue dragon. All right, let's uh, right-click him with this dragon meal. This is how you craft it. But this pretty much just makes it so that you can make your dragon nice and big. So let's make him a stage five dragon. So this is probably, let's see. Uh, he is still stage one right now, so it tells you how many days that he is has been alive But uh, once you use this dragon meal, it will actually make that a lot quicker So this is actually a female. Let's figure out what do we want to call her? She's unnamed right now. I kind of want to name her. We already have a Lucy Let's do Laura. All right, Laura. That seems like a nice name for you. All right, let's add you to the pack. All right, let's uh, see. Let's put some more dragon meal on you. There you go, Laura. Oh, you're going to be nice and big. All right, I think you're stage two now. There we go. So this would take 32 Minecraft days to get Laura to be that big, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But yeah, let's go over here. Oh, wait. I actually have the armor on me. Kind of forgot about that. But Laura, here. Do you want some nice dragon armor? Yes, you do. Oh, that is so cool. Now, when she's in stage two, can I ride on Laura yet? No, I think Laura has to be stage three. Get away from the trash can, Laura. Silly girl. All right, let's go give her some more dragon meal so that we can get her to be stage three. Let's see. Oh, you have to be really close. Come on, Laura. All right, let's see. Come on. So close. Oh, whoa. Laura, come back. Oh, yes. She is stage three for sure. Okay. Uh, Laura, hey, can I round your back? Yes. Stage three. So you're actually going to find most of the other dragons that spawn in your Minecraft world in stage three. So let's see. Can you breathe fire yet? Uh, yes. Yes. I don't know if you guys see that. Laura can indeed breathe fire. That is awesome. All right, let's go exploring for a little bit. So I'm not sure if there's going to be a dragon that's going to spawn for a while. I may have to fly really, really far away. But let's go see. Is there any, like, cool mobs to kill? Uh, oh, wait. Is that actually me? Wait, was that me blowing? Hold on, wait. Let's go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No. Oh, uh, whoops. 
So yeah, guys, the one bad thing is it's not like a wolf. They won't teleport to you. So if you die and then you accidentally lose, you know, your dragon. If I lost Lara right there, if I was really far away, then she is lost pretty much forever, I'm pretty sure. But there might actually be some tools that I can use in this mod to make it so that I can summon her. So yeah, I figured out that the command staff is how you make a dragon stay or wander around. So uh, yeah, you wanna probably make it stay around your house, but you can also use a dragon horn if you want to, to kind of make the dragon go way up into the sky or it's, it's kind of just like with you right now. And then if you right click down on the ground again, it will indeed come back. So I'm gonna run all the way this direction and see if I can find some dragons for me and Lara to fight. All right guys, so after running for a while, I found this dragon over here. It's a fire dragon, which will spawn mostly in everywhere in the world other than like icy parts. So let's summon back Lara, okay? Lara, I need you! Come on, okay, bam! Whoa, Lara! Whoa, Lara, come back! Uh, Lara, please? Um, uh, guys, got whoa! Lara, please help me! Oh gosh, guys, this is not good. Lara decided to just fly away? What is happening? Well, guys, uh, Lara will not come back to me. So I don't really know what to do in this kind of situation. There is a flute in this mob, but I already tried that and Lara will not come back to me. So yeah, the new update is a little bit buggy. I'm not gonna lie, or maybe I'm just doing something completely wrong. But uh, yeah, there was a dragon over here that I did want to fight. Lara, please come down. I have like food for you. I have some more dragon meal. I want to make you stage five. I want to make you the best dragon ever, but no. You don't want to do it. You're just gonna fly away just cuz? All right, Lara, throw away everything that we had together. Oh, that's a real shame. But yeah, let's go over here and let's see if we can take down that dragon. I mean, I'm not nothing without Lara. Look at that. I still have some awesome dragon armor on and I still have the stuff that we need to take down this other dragon. All right, let's go see. This looks like a stage three fire dragon. All right, what's up, dude? Uh, yo, man, what's good? Okay, where is, uh, okay. I thought Lara was coming back, but no. This is the other dragon. What's up, bro? Bam! Uh, oh! Whoa! Dismount? What if- What? Did I just ride on you? What the heck? Oh no, I wanna kill you. I don't wanna- Oh my goodness! No, 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 no! What the heck? Well, guys, I thought I was prepared, but no, it turns out I definitely needed Lara. So yeah, that is what it's like fighting the dragons. Apparently, this stuff is not even close to enough to take that dude on. I probably should have used the dragon bow from really far away. But yeah, that is the dragons in this mod. Now, I want to go check out some other cool things. Let's see. I have some teleportations. Let's go see. So yeah, this is a brand new biome, which I believe this is a glacier. So this is super high up in the sky. And this is where you'll find other ice dragons. And you'll also find these snow villagers, which will have some pretty cool trades. And I also think that they sell fishing spears in here as well. Uh, you can get some manuscripts. Let's go see anything else. But yeah, it still is kind of cool that you have brand new villages that spawn in your Minecraft world. Now, I think I have one other teleportation that takes me to the brand new Cyclops and Medusa. Now, there's also pixies that will spawn in like forests. You can collect their essence by basically just going up to them and like capturing them in a jar. And they give you like some uh, special potion effects. But yeah, I definitely want to check out these guys first. And if we have time, we can go see if we can find any pixies. But yeah, this is the Cyclops lair and that is Medusa's lair. Now the spawning of these structures is a little bit weird at the moment. As you can see, they kind of spawn everywhere. That's another Medusa one that spawned in the ground, but this is the most recent update. So I'm sure it'll get a lot better in the future, but uh, yeah, wait, I almost forgot. Okay, so there's two ways to take down this dude. One is to put on the sheep armor and then he will probably not be able to see you because if you guys did not know from a common mythical culture, uh, Cyclops are actually big herders of sheep. So it'll think that you're part of the herd or another thing you could do is shoot it in the eye and then blind it. All right, what's up, dude? Yeah, what's up, man? Okay, I have his eye light up. Boom, hit him in the eye, holy crap. All right, now he shouldn't be able to see me unless I get too close, then he can sniff me. But yeah, I'm kind of curious what cool things I can get in here. Let's say we have a bunch of wool and a bunch of mutton, but there's also giant piles of gold around. I'm not entirely sure if you could do anything with the piles of gold, but yeah, it still is pretty dang cool nonetheless. But let's try and take this dude down. What's up, man? Bam! Now, if you do get too close, he can indeed kick you and he will eat you if he can see you. So yeah, I think he's actually stuck in there. I want this to be a fair fight, bro. Come on, man. Bang. Get him out. Oh, sorry, dude. Oh, is your eye all messed up? Oh, bam. Oh, wait. What the heck? 
All right, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna kill your sheep. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy crap, he just took a bite out of me. Oh my goodness, I got way too close for comfort. All right, man, I'm just gonna shoot him right in the stomach. Man, take that nerd. All right, I'm gonna, oh, it looks like I missed his head. All right, there we go. Let's take him down. <laughs> nice and easy, I don't wanna get close to him again. Wait, oh crap, I hear Medusa now too. This is getting a little bit scary. All right, good thing this dude can't see me anymore. All right, good. Taking him down. Nice and easy. And then, bam. Holy crap. There we go. Looks like from that, I got a crap ton of shears. And then I got uh, a bunch of raw mutton as well. Honestly, it really wasn't worth it taking this dude out. Hopefully in the future, there's some sort of like awesome reward. But now, guys, let's go see if we can take down Medusa and then get her head. And as you guys might not know, with her head, you can turn anything into stone. So let's go inside and see. So how the heck do I get in here? Is there like an entrance of sorts? All right, looks like this might be the entrance. What's up, dudes? Anybody in here? Um, hello? Looks like there's switches around here. Okay, let's do that switch. Oh, wait, what the heck? Something just opened. Whoa, this is kind of cool. I can't really see anything, though. What the? Yo, that spider is stone. Holy crap. All right, I cannot look him. Wait, I need to put on my blindfold. Okay, uh, you gotta take this thing off. Blindfold on. Oh, that made it so much worse. All right, guys, I gave myself night vision just to make it a tad bit better. Whoa, okay, side up, bam, take that, nerd. Okay, where the heck did he go? This is scary, guys. All right, where is Medusa? I should be able to, okay, I don't want to look at her too closely. Hello, Medusa, there's other mobs down here. What the heck? That dude sound like he's moving super fast. Whoa, what's up, dude? Bam, take him down. All right, whoa, get the heck out of here, bro. I need to find Medusa. Have any of you guys seen Medusa? Hello? Anybody down here? This is so scary, guys. I have a blindfold on. All right, there we go. Uh, hello? Medusa, I want to take the blindfold off for a second. Where's she? Oh, right over there. Okay. All right, can't directly look her in the eyes. Let's just charge her. Hi. Whoa, no, 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 Okay, it's not a real blindfold. I can still see her a little bit. She's called a Gorgon. Ugh, that's disgusting. All right, we have to take her out to get her head. And then, bam. There we go, guys. Took her down. Holy crap. What the? Yo. Oh, what the heck was that? All right, guys. So I may have forgot that uh, I can't look at the head even when it's decapitated from her. So, yeah. I forgot about that little fact right there. But, yeah, let's go back down here and see if I can grab the head without dying. Oh, that's me. That is literally me. Wait, can I get that statue back? Oh, wait, let's see. I'm pretty sure if I mine it up with this thing, I can get it back as a statue. Yeah, look at that. I have a stone statue of myself that I can take back home. All right, guys. But let's actually kill myself again so that I can get back to my spawn. And there we go, guys. We have a Gorgon head. Now, in survival mode, this only does indeed have one use. So you kind of have to be careful with how you use it. But anything that you get, you can turn into a statue if you use a Silk Touch pickaxe. So I'm just going to be in creative mode just so I can test this thing out. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. I can turn anything into stone now. All right, Bessie, don't worry. I won't do it to you. Let's try it on this fake Bessie. Oh, <laughs> that is awesome. All right, let's go see. Oh, what the heck? We got some bandits over here. Bam, you guys are going to be turned into stone. There you go, dudes. I kind of want to try this out on a dragon. Now, I know that stage four and stage five dragons spawn underground. They spawn in real deep in like giant underground layers just because they're so big that if they're above ground uh, a lot of people would probably try and find them and kill them so let's go around and see if we can actually find one of the giant stage five dragons all right guys so right through this wall behind me there is a stage five dragon i'm pretty sure it has like almost 500 health it's a fire dragon and I'm going to see if I can take it down using the Gorgon head. I also put on some sheep armor just because I want the dragon to try and like come up to me as fast as possible and kill me. So it's bear for... Oh, oh my goodness. This thing is absolutely massive. Oh, whoa. Okay, he's waking up. He's wait. Yo, look at that. This dude's like 30 blocks long. All right, wow. There's a lot of zombies in here too. Uh, is this dude still asleep? What's up, man? Oh, I don't want to step. Wait, if I step on this, he can hear me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna go down here. Uh, please don't hurt me. Oh, we have to... Uh, don't get away from me, bro! I'm trying to take down this giant dragon. Oh, there's a double chest over there, too. Definitely want to see this down there. Oh, okay. He definitely hears me by now. There's no way he's still sleeping. Oh, my goodness. Yo, this guy is huge. Oh, he's awake! Oh, my goodness! No, 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 no. Don't attack me. Don't attack me, bro. I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's see. What if I shoot him in the face? 
Yo, what's up, that? Oh, no. Bam, did it work? Please tell me it worked. Come on, did it work? Come on. What? No, it didn't work. All right, guys. Failed attempt number one. Attempt number two, inbound. All right, let's go see. He is right through here. There's another dragon. I think this one's a giant red fire dragon. All right, there we go. I have night vision on. I have the Gorgon head ready to go. All right, come on, please. Stop. I need to get these little guys out of here. All right, bam. Because if I accidentally turn one of these guys into stone and not, you know, the giant stage five dragon there, then we may have a problem. All right, come on, stupid zombies. How does this dragon not even know that zombies are in his lair? All right, there we go. This one doesn't seem to have as much gold. It might actually be a stage four, but still huge nonetheless. All right, what's up, man? How are you? I'm just gonna go pet you on the mouth there. Yo, what's up, dude? All right, there he is. I'm gonna just do it. No, 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 wait. I have this guy. No, can't have this. Can't have this. Okay, no, 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 wait. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, there we go. And bam. Please work. Come on. Did it work? No, why isn't it working? I'm literally firing it right at him. Oh, yes. We did it. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Still zombies? No, no, no. Bad zombie. Bad zombie, all right? I just took down this giant fire dragon. Sort of, kind of, maybe. So, yeah. You're probably gonna want to get a Gorgon head if you... What the heck? Yo, yeah, you definitely want to get a Gorgon head if you want to take down one of these giant dragons. I was going to check out the chests in here, but it doesn't look like there's any chests. I mean, there's a bunch of ores in here as well that you could indeed grab, but let's get this dude. All right, uh, why are the creepers in here? Get out of here. Wait, don't blow up my statue. Please, I need my statue. I got to show Bessie how awesome I am. All right, there we go. Let's try and mine this dude up. There we go. Okay, think it's working. All right, there we go. Please. Okay, come on. Oh, did I get it? Yo, wait, I think it worked. Uh, fire dragon statue. All right, let's kill myself, go back to my spawn, and let's go see if I can place down this giant statue of the fire dragon. All right, let's go see. Where do I want to place it? Bessie, behold the giant fire dragon statue. Yo, this thing is huge. Holy crap. But yeah, guys, anyway, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's Dragon Minecraft video. This is easily one of my favorite Minecraft mods of all time. Let me know if you guys want to see more of it down below in the comment section. I'm thinking of doing, like, maybe a dragon battle with my buddy, the Cyroot, in the future. Let me know if you guys do want to see that by leaving a like, subscribing, turning on notifications, and then commenting down below that you do want to see a part two. Also, guys, do not forget that if you want to see any other mod on the channel, just leave a comment, and I will definitely check check it out and see if I'll make a video on it. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Beck Bro Jack, and I will see you guys all back again here tomorrow. Peace out, dudes.